Yo, what is up guys? What would it look like if you took something like this, the Nintendo Switch, and mixed it with something like this, the One X Player 1S? What would that look like? Well, today we're gonna find out what that looks like. And we are going to be unboxing the One X Player 2. This box is kind of big here. We're gonna be unboxing the One X Player 2. It doesn't say 2, but just imagine there's a 2 there. So, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm excited to get into this handheld because it, it has a unique sort of design. It has a unique um, approach to um, the handheld design itself. It's sort of like a Nintendo Switch in the way that it's designed but it's a full gaming PC. Okay, so this box is actually pretty nice. It's the nicest One X Player box I've had so far. I have the One X Player 1S, which you saw just now, and also the One X Player Mini Pro, and this has been the nicest packaging so far. Enjoy my time anywhere and anytime. Okay, all right, that's nice. So let's see what we have here. What do you have in this first box? Put that to the side as well. We have probably an accessory box, maybe the charger or something. Yeah, so we have the charger, USB C to USB C. Now, let's see how many watts is this charger brick here 20 times 5. So, there's a 100 watt charger brick here. So that's nice to see. 100 watt charger brick. And then we have the controls here. So, these are going to be our, our Joy Cons here. These are the Joy-Cons. So, let's see. Alright, right off the bat, this is very light. Very light, but the controls don't feel bad. D-pad is pretty good. The stick... The stick feels kind of small, but it has like this metal ring around it. So, that may help with the wear and tear on it. This feel kind of small, but let's get to the other one. Okay, so here is the left and right controllers here. Buttons feel pretty good. A, B, X, Y. You can see it's kind of stylized there. The A, B, X, Y is kind of stylized. Let me compare that to the original here. You see the original. The original ABXY is more like a normal font, and this is more sort of stylized, as you can see here. Let's take that off of there so you can get a sense of the... The joystick is actually slightly larger, but not much. And let's see that in comparison to the Joy-Cons of the Nintendo Switch. Buttons are bigger, I have a cap on this one as well. So it's bigger than a Joy-Con. Has slightly more travel than a Joy-Con. So there's that. Now, this is the part we've all been waiting for. The actual body of the device. This is a beefy boy. Got some instructions in here. Make sure you pluck that and file it to the side, as Floss would say. This is a really beefy device, you guys. Look at this, look at this beefy piece of machinery we have here. Micro SD card, normal USB, USB-C. This is a beefy, beefy device. Another USB port here and the pins for the keyboard. On the back we have the stand, similar to the stand on the the other one X player, but this is actually wider. So this is a wider stand. This is more like the stand on the AOK Zoe. As you can see here, the stand is much thinner in width. So it's similar to the AOK Zoe stand. I have the AOK Zoe here. So it's similar to the, the width of the AOK Zoe stand. Almost the exact same width there. So 
it may not be as good as the original one, but this base is thick enough to give you a good base to stand on. So yeah, let's check out this. Let's get the controllers in there. They don't slide all the way in from the top like the switch. You kind of have to put it in there first and then slide it down. It feels all right, not too bad. So you have to put it in and then slide it. And here we go. This is it. Let me just clean this up and turn it on. All right, so we got the One X Player 2 unboxed. Got it in this case here. So let's just take a look at it and, and see what we got here. Let's take it out of the case. It's pretty tight fit here. So we're not going to get too much into it in this video. We're going to keep it short. But we're just going to give a quick little overview. And then we'll um, plan to look at it in a little bit more depth in a future video. So yeah, I mean, I'm liking the, the fit and finish of it. The plastic, it doesn't feel as good as the One X Player mini pro that has a little bit more texture on it i can grab that um for you guys right now i actually have a case on that so this is the one x player mini pro with the 6800u it's a fair bit smaller but it does have a a texture on it i don't know if you can see it but the plastic has a little bit better texture on it so it does feel um slightly i guess more premium if you can call it that but this does feel solid. Let's just turn off the auto rotate because that is not what we wanted to do. So it does feel solid. I was afraid of the um, actual mechanism here. I was afraid that it would be um, more loose than it is. It does feel um, fairly tight. It's not, you know, very loose. If you look at the switch, sometimes it can, it can get pretty loose. So this does flex a little bit more than the One X Player 2. So that is good to see. It doesn't, it doesn't flex as much. So yeah, overall, I think the build quality is pretty good. The sticks, the sticks feel all right. Um, yeah, let's test out the dead zones real quick. Okay, so it looks like we have Hall Effect sensors in here. Um, just because of the, the dead zones here. Um, it does kind of snap to those four axes, but it does, you know, it does feel fairly smooth and there's not a lot of drift happening here, but, um, let's check that out here. So there's not much drift. As you can see, it's, it looks like we have whole effects here. If not, I don't know if they're doing something in the software, but usually to get a dead zone that small, you need the whole effect sensors, but I could be wrong. I think there are some versions with the Hall Effect sensor, some without, but it looks like this version does have the Hall Effect sensor. So yeah, this is my um, just unboxing and first overview. The buttons, the triggers, I wish had a little bit more, um, you know, hard to say, a little bit more spring to it. The trigger feels a bit, feels a bit dead. The bumpers do feel all right. But the triggers, I mean, I guess you kind of get, get, get used to the travel and the angle. But I do wish it had a little bit more uh, rebound in it. But it's all right. Can't complain. Let's see. See, this was my favorite trigger on the One X Player 1. Like, just the rebound there. This one is a little bit more soft and a little bit more smooth. So, if you like that. Kind of a little bit more smooth motion. You might like this one better. Ergonomics, I will say it is very ergonomic. You can see this big grip here. Look at this big giant grip. It's very ergonomic. It feels good in the hand. And it's not too heavy. I mean, for me, it's not very heavy. But I will say maybe if you're used to a smaller handout, you may think it's heavy. My favorite handout as far as ergonomics has always been the AOK Zoe. Because it has a nice grip here. Put that down there so we can see just a quick, quick little comparison here. We can see the grip on the AOK Zoe is a little bit slimmer, but it's a little bit um, bigger ratio between the, the thickness of here and the thickness of here. The One X player is so thick, but it does feel good in the hands and it feels nice. So... So yeah, that is the One X Player 2. 
Everything on it feels pretty good. No complaints of any of the buttons or anything like that. So yeah, I'm gonna do a few more tests in upcoming videos. We're gonna take a look at it, an in-depth test between the One X Player 2, the One X Player 1, a good throwback here. We even put it up against the AFK Zoe, the One X Player Mini Pro. And we're even gonna take a look at it versus the Steam Deck. I have the Steam Deck in the house. We're gonna take a look at that and just go through all of you know the usual things of the steam deck here we have the rog ally coming in we also have the um aok zoe um a1 pro coming in so that's going to be good to put up against this beast here and we're going to run all of those tests on all of those future videos so stay tuned and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one peace